Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and I want to talk about Vegas Pro 17, the fourth update, and why there's a line item on the update that is a very big deal. It's a huge deal, actually, and it should be very helpful to a lot of you guys, and it's big news, and I don't know why everyone isn't talking about it. I don't know what news could possibly... Huh? Every the whole world. Really? So Vegas announced a new update a while ago and they just casually mentioned something. AMD decoding support for AVC and HEVC. Yeah, every time a video is created, it's recorded in what's called a capture codec. A camera turns it into numbers and the computer turns it back into a pretty picture. See, most of the time your computer uses your CPU to turn those numbers back into video. But if you have a GPU, you have a dedicated graphics chip. A CPU is a jack of all trades and a master of none. Your GPU, however, is the master of one thing graphics. Now video, you would think, would be a perfect candidate for your graphics card to work with, and you'd be right. However, it's not that simple. Your computer doesn't just intuitively know how to give tasks to your GPU, and your GPU doesn't just automatically know how to decide on every codec. Most editing softwares aren't this advanced yet, but Vegas is now only one of two editing softwares to support all major graphic accelerators speeding up your video decoding right there on the timeline. This is different than accelerating your video render. This is seeing your video come to life on the preview window with the help of your graphics card. AVC and HEVC are common capture codecs. There's a good chance that your camera or gameplay footage is captured in one of these codecs. If you have an Intel integrated graphics or NVIDIA card, you may already be enjoying this if you have your GPU. GPU boost already turned on for Vegas Pro 17. But if you're a PC builder and you are looking to buy something that would have a lot of graphics power but not a lot of graphics money involved in getting that power, you probably bought an AMD card. And now your sensible editing software now can support your sensible graphics card, your AMD card. You can have your cake and eat it too. That's why this is a big deal. AMD is about 30% of the graphics market share, possibly a higher percentage of the home editing market share. So that's why this update is important. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.